Welcome back everyone and happy Friday. Starting out today with a couple of clouds in the sky if the camera decides to work, but it is a mild start to the day. 61 degrees in the capital city and in Great Falls just about 60 degrees. So a nice uh, mild start to the day, especially compared to how chilly it's been in the morning for the last couple of days and last week. So we're kind of moving into those summer temperatures as we are finally officially in summertime. But uh, yesterday we got lots of rain moving through uh, the entire state. We had some pretty uh, crazy storms here in the capital, but a lot of that moisture has moved off to our east. It's moving out of Lewistown now and down towards Billings, but uh, still a bit of lingering rain in the Lewistown area, although that is starting to trickle out and move off to our east. Now there is still uh, flooding going on, but things have started to recede in terms of river levels and flooding, but still a flood watch in the Lewistown area just until later this morning until noon today uh, because of the rain that's moving through. So because the rain is all the ground is already saturated, this rain moving through does bring the potential for flash flooding to develop. But again, that's only until noon today. So looking ahead to some drier weather later on in the coming days. Now in terms of rivers at flood stage, uh, the Muscle Shell River is at major flood stage right now. The Missouri River near Landusky at minor flood stage and the Missouri River near Ulm near Great Falls that was expected to reach its historic crest is at minor flood stage uh, and still uh, May, may continue to climb in the next day or so, but not going to be as bad as they initially thought. However, still had some serious flooding in that area, uh, although not at its historic crest of 17 feet, but still lots of flooding uh, continuing, although we are kind of seeing that start to decline a little bit. We do still have a flood warning here for Helena, Lewis and Clark County, and some of the surrounding counties until 11. So. Uh, still keeping in mind all of the flooding, but looking ahead to that starting to calm down a little bit and get some drier weather and start moving into some more summery weather as well. So for the rest of today, I've been mentioning we still have some scattered showers in the forecast for today and the weekend, unfortunately, but we will be seeing some sunshine here and there. So you can see later on this morning, still some showers moving through central Montana, but that will be clearing up by the afternoon and evening time. And uh, by the time everyone's getting off of work and kicking off the weekend, things should start to clear up for the capital city and for uh, locations in central Montana. Now for tomorrow though we do still have another round of scattered showers we're kind of in this wet pattern right now that will be on and off showers but you can see not anything like it was yesterday uh, and we will be getting some sunshine here and there as well so it's not going to be that all day kind of dreary rain uh, that kind of ruins your day it's going to be on and off now uh, Sunday still another chance of showers as well into uh, Monday, starting to clear up a little bit. But for today, things are going to be relatively warm. We do have uh, the scattered showers uh, later on, a chance of showers, but again, not going to be all day, just a 50% chance of showers today, uh, tomorrow probably a bit more, and then Sunday really kind of tapering off. Monday late night is when we could see uh, a bit of rain moving through, but generally things are going to be clearing out next week for the first few days of the week. We will see some sunshine here and there and hopefully start to be drying up from all of this flooding that we've been seeing. Yeah, we're ready to move on from that. Yes. All right, Katie, thanks.